Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's session, we will explore how to leverage Boto3, which is the AWS SDK for Python. In previous session, we have seen how we can create the bucket, how we can upload the file, and how we can download the file. So in today's session, we will learn how we can read the file content from an S3 bucket, which will enable seamless data retrieval and manipulation in AWS environment. So there are some prerequisites you should need to follow for this tutorial. So first, you need to have AWS account with sufficient privileges, and you should have knowledge of IAM, which is Identity Access Management, S3, Simple Storage, EC2, and you should have installed Putty or Mobax term in your system to connect with our instance. You can also use Git to connect to your instance. Then we will learn about what is AWS S3 bucket, what is Boto3 in Python. Then we will follow the step-by-step -step guide to read the file content from our S3 bucket, which includes step like updating the system, installing Python 3, but there is no need for installation of Python 3 as it is already installed in the latest version of Ubuntu which is 24.04 ATS, and the latest version Python is 3. Then we will install Boto3 on our Ubuntu using pip, and then we will create an IAM user and configure IAM user using AWS CLI. Then we will use Boto3 with AWS S3 to create, upload, and then we will read the file contents from the uploaded file. So we will just to the previous steps and then we will do the code for reading the file content from the S3 bucket. So let's start. So what is AWS S3 bucket? So an AWS S3 bucket is a cloud storage container provider by Amazon Web Services to store and retrieve data objects such as files, images, videos and database. So it is just used for storing files, images, and video in which we can store and retrieve data objects. So let's now learn what is Boto3 in Python. So Boto3 is a Python library that serves as the official AWS SDK, software development kit for Python. So it provides developers with an easy to use interface to interact various AWS services directly from the Python code. So for example, if you want to create an S3 bucket, upload a file to it, or perform any other AWS operation, you can do using Photo3. So in essence, Photo3 empowers Python developers to integrate AWS services into the application effortlessly, making it a preferred choice for building cloud native solution on AWS. Now, Let's move on to practical and see the step-by-step -step guide to read content from the S3 bucket. So I have launched an EC2 instance, Ubuntu server instance, in the region AP South. So please make sure you have Ubuntu server. Then simply copy the IP address and I have connected my instance with the help of Mobax term tool. So you can connect it. Now our next step, so our first step is to update the packages on our system. So simply to update, simply type here sudo apt update. So which will update our system. Now next is to install Python 3 on Ubuntu. But as it is already installed, we will just check the version of the Python. So simply to check the version, simply type Python when I one version. Python 3 hyphen one version. And here you can find the version is 3.12.3, so which is the latest version of Python. Now, as we have already installed Python 3, 
Now next step is to install Porto 3 on our Ubuntu system. So we can install it by using pep, but we will install it by using the APT. So simply to install Ubuntu 3, just enter the command sudo apt install python 3 hyphen Ubuntu 3, which will install the Ubuntu 3. And simply give the permission to download the Ubuntu 3. Now we have successfully installed the Ubuntu 3. So now we will. So now we will check the version of the Ubuntu 3. So it is 1.34.46. Now let's check the next step. Now next step is to create an IAM user and configure IAM user using AWS CLI. So I have already configured it and I have shown in the previous session. So just download the AWS CLI from the official documentation provided by the Amazon. So simply copy this and paste here, paste here and make sure you install the unzip. So it will unzip all the files. And if you do the ls command here, you can find I have already installed the Amazon CLI and then just enter it. AWS configure. And as you can see, I have already entered my access key and secret key. So enter according. Now let's see the next step. Now we will use the Boto 3 with AWS S3. So basically to use Boto 3, you must import it and indicate which services or services you are going to use. So we can create S3 bucket, upload files to the S3 bucket and as well as download files from the S3 bucket. And as well as we can read the contents from the object we have created in the S3 bucket. So let's see how we can do this. But before that, you need to create a Python file. So we will simply create one Python file called as sudo nano aws s3 dot py. Now we will enter our script. So first, you need to import the boot to three. So we will import first boot to three. Now you. Next step is to connect to AWS S3 through Boto3. So simply, now we are going to connect our S3 with the Boto3. So simply type oh, network connection one. So simply, I can create the file AWS S3 dot py. Now, you can refer the article which is available on fosttechthis.com for the code. So I'll directly explain. So simply, if you go down here, you can see the complete code for reading the file content. So it includes steps like connecting to AWS S3. Then we need to specify the region. Then we will create S3 bucket. Then we will specify the bucket name here and simply upload the file. So I will simply copy this and paste here in my AWS S3 P1. Now I will explain this. So just save this file. Control plus X and P. So now first, as you are going to upload the file in s3 so you should need the file in your system so simply we will create that file in our system so go to the opt directory and here i will create one 
index.html file which we will upload and then we will display the contents. So simply we will copy this. So it just include that with a h1 header html simple code which include reading contents from file using photo it will display this header line so now simply we will save this control plus x plus y and enter now to do ls command our python file is saved here now again now let's see the code so first i have imported the boto3 then i have connected aws s3 using the boto3 client so here we create an s3 client object named as s3 using the boto3 client which will allow us to integrate interact with the s3 service then you need to specify the region so i have given the region as asia pacific which is the mumbai region ap south one here our s3 bucket will be created so that's why you need to specify your region then you are going to create s3 bucket with the region call so basically here you can find the bucket response is equal to s3 create which will create a bucket named as my devops end bucket and here you can find the create bucket configuration so basically so basically this line will create an s3 bucket named as my devops end bucket with the region constant as we have specified here which is ap south one and it is specified by the create bucket configuration parameter so the location constant parameter ensures that the bucket is created in the specified AWS region. So that's why we have to use the location constant. Then simply we will get the bucket name from the response. So this is the optional step. So as we have already specified here, so you can also specify here the bucket name, which is my DevOps in bucket. So please make sure you take unique S3 bucket name. Now, our next step is to upload the files to the S3 bucket. So here you need to mention the file path. The file to upload, which is we have created earlier, which is index.html. Then the file to S3, which will include the file path plus which file to upload. So which is the index.html plus the file path, which is in the OPT directory. And simply, by using this line, it will upload the file S3 to the S3 bucket name as here you have specified the bucket name, which is it will call the bucket name here we have specified, which is my devops in bucket. And the file to S3 as well as the file to upload, which is the index.html. So this will upload the file index.html in a bucket. Then the print statement is simply prints a success message confirming the creation of S3 bucket in the specified region. So simply you need to, it will display that we have successfully created S3 bucket in AP South one region. Now, the important step that how we can retrieve and display the content of the index.html file. So here you need to specify the file object then so basically this line retrieve the object file name as index.html which we have specified earlier and from the specified bucket name which we have specified here which is my devops in bucket using the get object so here i have used the get object and which is the method of the s3 client object so the bucket parameter specifies the bucket name then the key parameter specify the object key and which is the file name in this case i have already assigned the index.html to the file upload so that's why i have mentioned the key file to upload then this line 
So once the object, so this line will specify that once the object is retrieved, so basically this line will read the content of the object's body using the read method. So it will decode the content by using UTF-8 part, which decodes the binary data of the file into a UTF-8 encoded string. So assuming that the file is encoded in UTF-8 format. So basically this string is then stored in the file content. Then simply I have used the print. So here I have again mentioned the by mistake they again mention the message to message of bucket which is what so i have already mentioned about so there is no need to mention here and simply so the second message we are going to print so this line will print the contents of the index.html file and it will display a header with the file name file to upload followed by a new line and then it will print the actual content of the file so now we will run our python script so we will save this entire script by entering control plus x plus y and enter now to run the python code simply type your python three with the file name so it will execute the file So here, as let's see the script again. So first message was to print that we have created bucket successfully. So now let's check. So here you can find this three bucket my DevOps in created successfully in the region AP South one. So we have used the location pressure in our script. And here you can find the contents of our index.html file. So it have been displayed the content of index in file successfully. So here we have finished with our practical. So if you have any doubt, you can visit our website for this and comment on this and as well as you can comment this video. So we will conclude for today. So before that, we will verify that we have created S3 bucket on our AWS console successfully or not. So simply type here S3. And here you can find, if you refresh this page, you can see the bucket name as well as the object in the bucket. If you click on the bucket name, here you can find it is loading the object and here you can find we have successfully uploaded the file and then we have read the content from this way so we have successfully performed the practical so you can you can refer the article which is available on posttechnics.com so we will conclude for today so in conclusion Using Moto3 to read file content from an S3 bucket offers a straightforward and efficient way to access and manipulate data stored in our AWS. So you can check the related articles where you can find how we can start and stop AWS EC2 instance using Python Moto3. So thank you for watching my video and please do like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you again and see you in the next video.